all of a sudden the message came saying that uh, this uh, uh yeah this meeting yeah, is uh, i'm recording i'm recording it just to <laughs> let you guys know i'm recording it <laughs> it's okay let's but, continue can i continue okay yes, yes. so let's going back to the memory of two years and a half ago so what did you do two years and a half a year ago i uh, many, many memories may come, but uh, I myself worked as a caretaker and tried to care and entertain hundreds of the aged uh, during daytime. So it was such an eye-opening ex experience and I enjoyed, particularly when we all try to decorate the center by ourselves based on creation by the aged or uh, trying to play uh, a new game uh, where the disabled won the competition. At the same time, I also uh, dreamed to work for something with bigger scale and that, uh, to involve myself in much more international exchange and exposure. Then I watched Ida Ten uh, uh, was the timing uh, like that. So B, can you show that the second slide, which was that the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, which I show, uh, shared with Adi before? Okay. I would like to show, uh, is it this one? Uh, no, the second one, the other one. This one? No, not Because that. the other link, no, this link, the second link goes to here. Yeah. So I have to choose which. Yeah, I will tell you. I just would like to okay. share that uh, the opening theme of the Ida Ten, which is really cheerful and festive, so that, that everybody's vibes can up. So, uh, okay. Can you show uh, only first 30 seconds is fine because that uh, there is no English subtitle, so that uh, it's meaningless afterwards. But uh, can you uh, show the uh, video? Leftest side and on the top of the, the screen. The one with the a lot of girls. That one? No, 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 no. That's the right, uh, lightest. This uh, one. Right. No, 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 no. Left. Ah, yeah, that's this the one. one. Yes. Okay. Only thirty seconds is fine. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. it comes out this. Oh, can you go back? Okay, I go back. Okay. And can you try again on the leftist side on the top? This one? Of... Is it this one? Sorry, is it this one? No. No, it's okay, sorry. Which is written with NHK. Yeah, which image, which picture? Uh, the, there is no picture on the leftist oh, side. In the, NSK. Oh, yes. NSK ar archive. NHK. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, Only available to users in Japan. Sorry. Uh, this is what I uh, wanted to, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, that, uh, oh, hold on. No, I can't run it. Uh, this, what is this? Maybe I can Google it. Uh, if you can Google, uh, okay, let, uh, let's do that later, then uh, let, okay. uh, let us, but uh, in the meantime, so that uh, just the image that a uh, uh, really festive opening theme of the drama, then that uh, I can still continue. Then let's just try to go back later if we can just uh, find something Googling, okay? Okay. So Ida Ten is the epic uh, 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 kind of uh, broadcasted in Japanese historical drama television series. And that uh, Ida Ten is a story focusing on the uh, two stories of how it was like when Japan participated in the Olympics for the first time in 1912 and when the Olympics was brought to Japan for the first time in 1964. When talking about all those Japanese drama, when I met you all for the first time in 1990s, 
I was very surprised that the Oshin was such a popular drama in Asia. And that uh, both Oshin and Idaten are stories in the 20th century Japan. Yet you might not have heard about Idaten since Idaten is not as popular as Oshin even in Japan. Let's just uh, simply compare Oshin aired in 1983 and Idaten in uh, 2019. Uh, uh, Every morning from Monday to Friday, NHK broadcasts a drama series for 60 years, and Oshin is one of the most popular TV pro uh, drama among all. The average viewer rating of Oshin was 52.6%, and the highest rating was 62.9% in Japan. It means like uh, people watching TV at that time, almost more than half people that uh, tend to watch that drama. Uh, that was such a popular uh, drama. But uh, at the same time, every Saturday night, uh, no, every Sunday night, NHK also broadcast a hi Japanese historical drama for 58 years and Ida Ten was broadcasted from January to December 2019. On the contrary, Idaten is one of the least popular TV drama among all. The average rating of Idaten was 7.1% and the highest rating was still 15.5% only. So that's you may surprise any Japanese around you when you talk about Idaten or when you say you know Idaten very much. However, there are small but very enthusiastic fans of this drama so that you may also encounter such a strong bond in, uh, with those fans. So I recommend you to talk about Ida Ten afterwards uh, around any Japanese. So either you can surprise them or either you can find a very strong bonding with them, okay? Today, I tell you three things. One is the reason why Ida Ten was not at all that popular. And two, what made Ida Ten, however, extraordinary. And three, what Ida Ten actually gave to me. So let me start from one. The reason why Ida Ten was not that, that popular. Actually, Ida Ten had no cliche and a lot of new challenges were introduced in a story. Uh, when we talk about cliche of a historical Japanese drama in Japan, I tend to think like uh, things like uh, following uh, one, there is one great hero and he is keep fighting for a focused goal and his attempt will be either greatly rewarded or tragically failed. Then yet everybody remember this forever. Then the second one is everyone knows this hero and that uh, he looks very attractive and cool and, and also easy to understand. And the third one is medie uh, yeah, medieval times tend to be chosen like samurai style or uh, geisha, maiko style or whatever. Then background of the story is rather exotic even from the, the Japanese point of view and somehow fantasy, yeah. But uh, let's look at Ida Ten in, uh, and that, uh, then can you show the first slide B, that uh, the one which you showed at first? Okay, give me a minute, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on one minute, yeah. Take time, take time. This one? Yes. There's no samurai, okay? 
and that uh, there is no maiko or geisha like cars so, or uh, there is no even kimono so that uh, and officially he is just one of two heroes in the story which is very unusual in a drama actually he is a hero in the story, however, will be a by player in the later half of the story. And there are two heroes in this drama. So he is at the uh, kind of Japanese first Olympian, a marathon runner, Shin, uh, Shiso Kanakuri, who took part in the 1912 Stockholm Summer Olympics and that uh, one of the first Japanese athletes to compete, uh, compete in the games. And, but uh, there is another uh, uh, hero in the drama and that uh, he is uh, Masaji Tabata, who uh, known as a founding father of Japanese swimming teams. And he was uh, part of the, the uh, he's well known as a part of the successful efforts to bring the Olympics to Japan. But uh, in 2019, when it was aired, both of them were not at all popular in Japan. So, which is quite unusual. Then they did not look a kind of typical handsome guys. They did not look that much cool either. Rather, they look quite unrefined and speak dialect of their home village and towns. And that, uh, then as time goes by in a story, they strive in a series of complicated situations with frustration and a lot of setbacks. So, then the background of the story is from the 19th century to 20th century. And many still remember how that time was like. It's not fantasy at all. And that, uh, everybody remembers that uh, how people were like uh, at that time. And most importantly, both heroes enjoy their moments of lives only for a blink of time at the youth and keep going through a series of hardships afterward in the story. I tell you uh, kind of setbacks and the uh, uh, tough time they, uh, they, uh, they had. She saw he uh, in the picture was a celebrated figure before participating in this Stockholm Olympic in 1912, known the world record of marathon running in Japan. However, in this first Stockholm, uh, Stockholm Olympic, he got lost and that, uh, lost to the track and that uh, he even could not go. Then he kept challenging the Olympic games afterwards, but keep losing. His trainee uh, with hope that uh, he can send him to the Olympic had to go off to the World War II and he could not come back. And he kept running, but his hope to run as the first Olympic to uh, final Olympic torch runner uh, in the, the Tokyo uh, Olympic in 1964 actually could not be, uh, be filled in the end of the day. And another hero, he enjoyed the, the many gold medals as the director of the swimming team for the Olympic in 1932 in LA. However, his dream to hold the Olympic Games in Tokyo kept postponed, postponed, canceled, postponed, and that uh, finally he became secretary general to organize the Tokyo Olympic in 1964, yet he was dismissed over Asian Games participation issue two years before the Olympic. So accordingly, Idaten does not provide an easy catharsis or like a, a great achievement. Then timeline is jumped here and there so that the story is complicated and winding. In addition to that, Idaten was suffered from a lot of scandals by actors. 
There was an actor gave up playing a role due to illegal drug use, then stand in play the role instead of him in the middle of the story. Other scenes with an actor with penalties were cut. So instead of the, the story with low ratings, a series of scandals about the uh, drama were featured in the, in the media at that time. Then, what made the Ida Ten extraordinary? I mean, that the, so what's the catch of Ida Ten? Let me see. As I told you, two heroes are struggling and often their best possible choice they made brought bitter results. For example, Shiso ran off the truck and that, uh, lost his consciousness in a farm garden in Stockholm and he was nursed by residents there. Such a bitter experience made him intimidated, yet he kept promoting marathon throughout his life. Tabata was so disappointed after dismissed as a secretary general of Olympic Committee, yet he was encouraged to give indirect advice to make the Tokyo Olympic success. So actually, as the story goes, we can start to realize that two heroes are actually only parts of the whole big stories. There are more than hundreds and hundreds of characters are playing. And every effort including very minor players, such as Japanese tukutuku driver in the, the 19th century in the story, will bring the success of the Olympic in 1964 afterwards. There are story like the Olympic gives turning points of many lives in different ways. For example, like, one super athlete who took part in 1912 Stockholm Olympic with uh, uh, Shiso Kanakuri gave up the right to play in the final match with facing the bitter fact that his best score, his best record is not enough to win the semi-final. Though in Japan, he has never been lost before. Some could not get rights to participate in the Olympic game despite their efforts. Some lived without sports competition yet encouraged players. Some enjoyed Olympic yet decided to take a part of different industry. So then we see that Idaten is far from a myth of superheroes, rather it's actually not only a story of struggling super athletes, but also countless unsung heroes overwhelmed by the time. The choice of people bring power to cope with many things, like cope with natural disasters, but also the choice of the people bring world wars, complication of politics, as well as a series of massive sports festivals. So as a result, this epic drama eventually became a heartfelt pian to humanity that celebrates all kind of seemingly reckless challenges beyond sport, regardless of the immediate results. This point is strongly visualized in the opening theme of the Ten Fair, the image of the Olympic athletes and our daily lives are shown side by side, one after another, as if that are in the synchronizing with each other. Then there is a scene uh, showing the torch, Olympic torch and the flickering candle of a small family's birthday cake and side by side. And that, that this always make my eyes water every time since I can believe that um, this birthday of a nameless child is as important as the whole Olympic Games. I Let me try to come back to the Olympic Games. Uh, ah, okay, let me see. Uh, B, I think I will 
uh, Chuck. Uh, Ninogi, let yeah. me try. Is this is this the one that you wanted? Hold on, yeah. Which one? I cannot see anything. Uh, hold on, hold on. Is this what you wanted, Minori? Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, can you? Huh? Can can yeah? Can is this the opening theme? Can I, I cannot hear the uh, the music actually though? Can you can you start to play from the beginning? Hold on, yeah. I'll start from the beginning again. Can you hear the music? No. Am I the only one person who cannot hear the music? No, I cannot hear the, the music as well. Oh, you okay. cannot uh, hear the music? B, um, I, I, I I can find I can find another another site maybe uh wait 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 yeah, yeah. You, you this uh, this this is actually under YouTube <laughs> actually not found it <laughs> you need to, to share to share the sound uh, I wait, need wait, to wait. set the sound I'm just I'm just uh, sending uh code. Can you Google this? B? Okay. Yeah, let uh, me try, yeah? Hold on. Uh, I, I think I mistyped. Let me do that again. No, uh, I think you can try. Yeah. Can you Google this? And that, uh, can this, you show this me- This number? That? Yeah, can you Google this number? Okay. And Okay, hold on. How, what will uh, be shown? This this is what comes out. Can you click that the first uh, hyperlink? Sorry, which one? This one, the first one? Top one. The top one? Yeah. Twitter? Yeah. Just click them. I think it will uh, give you the music as well. Can you hear the music? I cannot. <laughs> oh. uh. No? No. B, are you using a uh, headphones and is that the no the I'm thing? not using headphones I'm using the computer audio B can you hear the music <laughs> yes I can <laughs> 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 did not hear it B. hold you on just, uh, everyone just... I tell you what what I'll do I'll send you the link in the chat room you just oh, you just okay. sing you just uh, sing B Maybe you, you just sing. <laughs> Ariel, all of you will have nightmares. <laughs> you can't sleep tonight. Me, Hold on. I'll, I'll just send it to everyone. The chat. Yeah, then you can you check it out later. Yeah. If you do not mind, just keep that uh, showing that uh, the scenes. And uh, I just would like to show this okay. side by the side. All right. Hold on. In, uh, Olympic torch and that uh, birthday, uh, birthday cake, which is so okay. Cute. I will share screen again. This one, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and then uh, let it play. Not, uh, the other one. I the other one. I asked. The other one. Okay. Hold on. This one. No. Ah, uh, that's the one. Yeah, can this you just keep one? showing? 
Okay, I'll let it yeah. keep running then. Okay. And please imagine something really cheerful and festive music in your own head. And actually this music gives uh, much uh, beyond your expectations of radio. <laughs> 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 Sound yes. after that? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, from uh, that uh, later, so but uh, thank you so much. So that uh, mm -hmm. I'm happy to introduce you all mm -hmm. that the uh, heroes and that uh, there were two different opening versions of this drama, which was also very unusual. But uh, anyway, so like this, it attempts for wise life after losing the pe uh, power of people who can still bring hope after bitter loss. So finally, but Ida Ten gave to me. So I am not at all an athlete, and that I'm rather a very indoor person and cannot play any sports well at all. The Olympics are fine, but I do not think I have not got into that much. So if Ida Ten had been a propaganda drama to beautify and praise the Olympic Games and top athletes, I might not have enjoyed watching as I did. However, Ida Ten featured not only struggles of super athletes, but also unexpected influence of nameless people in the history. Ida Ten is a history of, for example, a Japanese tuk-tuk driver who gave a ride to Ayoshi chair and guided so well that Ayoshi chair had a very good impression about Japan. Idaten is a story of a woman who was disappeared due to great Kanto earthquake of 1923. Idaten is a story of her son who died in the end of the World War II without participating in any Olympic Games, despite his stronghold. Idaten is a story of his orphanage son who finally celebrates the Tokyo Olympic in 1964, yet decided not to pursue his dead father's dream to be an Olympian, then decided to become actually a comedian. So I learned how to celebrate myself while I am not a super athlete when I watched this drama. Ida Ten also celebrate challenges, a countless reckless challenge such as female participation to sports and the Olympic. For example, a first 
Olympic player in the drama shouted that even 100 years are not enough for us to win the Olympic sprint game. She so kept running throughout Japan even after retired. A Japanese IOC member who has been tried to bring the Olympic Games to Tokyo died with huge debts without success. Then another hero, Tabata, was hit by a rotten egg thrown by a kid in Manila, accusing war crimes in Japan during the Second World War II. And he was about to give up participating in that sporting event there. But he decided to uh, participate saying, we did some awful, disgusting things in Asia. We must do something fun for people now. So it gave me power to face with my new challenges at the time as well. 2019 was the time when I decided to my, uh, pursue my career to experience something unusual, something extraordinary, something festive, and something international. Indeed, I love something unusual, something extraordinary, something festive, and something international. Maybe this is because of my wonderful experience of Shia when I was a teenager. However, I was not sure if my taste is acceptable in a society, particularly when I worked as a caretaker. Yet I was encouraged by the characters and the story of Idaten. Then I found a work in a think tank in 2019 and enjoyed encountering researchers abroad. So watching Idaten gave me the power. Without Idaten, I think I even would not have uh, seen you all today. So Idaten also captured struggle of Japan for gender equality. The first hero, Shiso, after his loss in the, uh, another Olympic in Antwerp in 1920, he met war widows in Berlin who were venting anger and sadness through sports. He returned to Japan and started to teach in a guard school and promoted guard sports. A female teacher influenced by him died during Great Kanto earthquake of 1923, yet her letter actually encouraged a first female silver medalist, Kinue Hitomi, and her presence encouraged another first gold female medalist swimmer, Hideko Maehata. As such, not only the family bonding, but also years and cheering up by strangers can encourage and harness a person's incentive. And this encouraged me a lot since I managed to believe that I can do something good even when I have not had opportunity to get married and give a birth. Another big fun moment were SNS chatting Though the viewer rating of Idaten was very low, SNS chatting whenever Idaten episode was broadcasted was phenomenal. I enjoyed so much to communicate with other audience by writing how I felt and the reading how other found. So the analysis was huge and deep so that fulfilled my strong interest in good entertainment. Sometimes, the director or staff of the drama also wrote personal messages in SNS chatting that excited us very much. So I still love something unusual, something extraordinary, something festive and something international. And I still appreciate these elements in life and believe such elements can color people's life. So right now I'm working as a temporary worker to support Japanese small and medium business enterprises as well as individual uh, business owners in Japan with hope to work to bring Japan and Asia again somehow. So every story counts and has power, I believe. And I hope Ida Ten and my story today somehow inspire you to remember 
your favorite TV program so that uh, we can share the excitement somehow, someday, all together. That's it. Thank you very much, Adi, again for the opportunity. Thanks, Minori. For, uh, Thanks, Minori. Yeah, just, just to let you know, Minori, I remember Oshin. Thank you, Minori. Oh, Oshin, <laughs> Oshin was a, a, a favorite series of mine. Um, yes. It, yeah, and, and it gave me some strength also to see that little girl struggle so hard and then become a successful old lady. I've never heard of Idaten, and I'll definitely go and Google and see what I can work. <laughs> Thanks for introducing this. Maybe you can uh, go to NHK World Service, and uh, I hope they can show the, uh, the episode somehow. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely yes, look this already. up, you know. Uh, coincidentally, before the rest of you joined Ariel and Yulia, we were talking about Olympic spirit. You know, how mm -hmm. the Filipino athlete, you know, she never gave up. First gold. Yeah, finally she got her gold. Uh, yes. And how the, the female gymnast, the US female gymnast, she was uh, expected to win the gold. Yet she decided to uh, give up, to, to not give up. She decided to withdraw for her own mental health. Which indeed, is, indeed. Yeah, it was very strong of her to acknowledge that and to withdraw. You know, I think many, many Americans would have cursed her <laughs> for giving up that gold medal. <laughs> That's a huge pressure, I guess, indeed. And the final Olympic to, uh, to Chirana of this year's Olympic, Naomi Osaka also that the conference that the, she has some issue and she didn't want to take part in the interview and uh, after the uh, he, uh, her match and the, it became an issue. But uh, I think everybody is a human being so that the, uh, so many different aspects and confusions are coming. But uh, we should, uh, yeah, respect that uh, one's, uh, yeah, uh, individuals that are uh, uh, not only uh, countries' achievements, but also that uh, each and the individual athletes. And I do respect that uh, each and every uh, athlete who kept trying oh, right? their best to yeah. uh, join that is yeah, uh, yeah, uh, postponement of the game and the pitch was not sure it's happening or not. Then congratulations for Philippines and uh, Indonesia, I think, also that uh, won some weightlifting, something like it. Yes, yes. I think so. But only bronze, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just got news that Malaysia won the bronze medal for badminton, doubles men. Congratulations. But I, I, I don't actually, I don't really remember who wins what. But when I watch Olympic, I like to see the stories behind it, you know, like the Filipino and all that. One of the one that struck me the most, okay, which I also sort of got into trouble was Great Luginis. Okay, it's a long time for you guys. Great mm. Luginis, when he did his dive and hit his head, and he, he, he had a, a, a wound, but yet he went on uh, taking his dives after that. Why that stick out was because it was during my O-levels uh, trials. <laughs> I gave up my paper to watch him dive. <laughs> That's a fun. Yeah, but it's the spirit. These are spirits of sportsmanship. And I think I read uh, this... Tokyo Olympic was also another, there was a South African runner, long distance runner, he was getting disorientated and the guy behind him, instead of overtaking him, guided him to run and still be the first. And when the reporter uh, asked the guy behind him, why did, why did you guide him? Why didn't you just run ahead and win it? And he, he said, why? The, he was the winner. You know, and what would it mean that medal if I win doing that? I think that was great. You know, that is the the the, the spirit of being a sportsman. That's very powerful. Huh? 
Yeah. They also read it. So uh, yes, sports monkey is also yeah always touching and the uh, very encouraging people's uh, appreciation of the strengths. But however, I also would like to emphasize that the entertainment has a power, and that uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, listening to good entertainment or TV shows or whatever from each of your countries. And that uh, like as I enjoy chatting with that uh, other audience of either ten during the oh. time air, it would be really great if I can chat with you all about how this episode was mm -hmm. like and that, uh, how funny this team was or those kind of things for that uh, in, uh, programs in each and every country somehow. Yes. Thank you. But Minari, Minari uh, your yeah. sharing tonight is very interesting uh, because what Thank I you. know, like perhaps others, uh, I just knew Osin, <laughs> and I, I never heard that thing before. But uh, your sharing uh, really opened uh, my mind that there is other TV show which can really influence people. And it was shown for a very long period, right? And for that case, I mean, uh, it is such a huge effort from the, what is the team yeah, as well. Because for keep, uh, you know, keep recording, keep the all the actor, actor, and also all the script. Yeah, I think it's really a very huge effort. Yeah, aside of Oshin, of course, because Oshin is the longest one. Um, because for me, uh, Japanese TV drama is also interesting. Until up to now, because I still watch uh, Waku Waku Japan or NHK uh, World. Yeah. Uh, but the one that I remember in our time is uh, uh, Tokyo Love Story. Oh, <laughs> oh <you>. my! <laughs> <laughs> but but I think I don't... it was first aired in Indonesia, other than Osin. Yes. The Tokyo Love Story was the first one, the drama to be aired in Indonesia. Yes, yes, in, correct. Uh, and also, um, actually that, yeah, that is for the, um, what is the, the love drama story, but uh, I have another one, uh, TV drama. I don't remember the title, but it was the uh, trainee of the stewardess. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I don't remember the name, but uh, the time when she uh, was in training for jail, uh, uh, also she shows us, I mean the audience, yeah, she shows us the very big, uh, what is big heart, because sometimes he, she got bullied, she got stressed, she got, uh, what is, she don't understand what to do, <laughs> but still uh, keep trying, keep practicing. And that is the thing I also uh, remember that every single effort uh, will, uh, uh, it's like a seed, yeah. It, we will uh, harvest in the next round. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much um, for your yeah. good. Japanese uh, series of Japanese dramas and that uh, you know very well. But uh, how about uh, something which is originated from Indonesia? I sometimes um, mm -hmm. uh, as I told you before, and that was such a funny comedy. And that, uh, but uh, it was it was already finished a couple of years ago, right? If that uh, they are interesting Indonesian drama to uh, mm. like uh, like now, which can be recommendable, that would be mm. great. And I also oh, like I to know that uh, other you know, ASEAN countries that uh, good uh, TV drama or popular culture somehow. Mm. I think for me, uh, okay. the good Malaysian drama. But dramas, me, I don't, I don't watch. It. 
I think the good Malaysian dramas are those with P. Ramli. Mike, what do you think? What? What? The, the, P. Ramli? Uh, wow. Yeah. The those are Mal movies, Mal right? Malaysian dramas are those with P. Ramli. The oldies. I don't really enjoy watching the the one in the 80s or 90s so much. The, um, I think, uh, you know, if you're talking about the Malay dramas nowadays, okay, it's all about love. 100% <laughs> love. Where's the love? I tell you, <laughs> it's all love stories. I was like, okay, isn't there something different? Something else? Yeah. <laughs> it's all the same. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, I I used you know I used to watch it, but but now I don't because it's all the same ending. They are mm -hmm. together, you know, and, and it's a happy ending. So like, uh, you know, there, there must be something more to this. You know, talking about mm -hmm. you know uh, dramas in Malaysia. Uh, well, I mean that's what I observe. So I I have uh, sort of like stopped watching it now. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, B. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think I've TV watched TV. any uh, Malaysian uh, dramas, whether it's in Malay or even in the, can the, the Cantonese one, the Chinese ones. Mm -hmm. I think I haven't watched any in the past 20 years at least. I, I don't, like Max said, I don't find the substance in it. It's all very pretentious kind of Cinderella stories, you know. Um, mm, there's no um. I mean, at least like watching P. Ramli, the uh, what Bujang Lapo or that uh, what the having three wives and all that. You know, it was teaching people. Yeah, you want to be polygamous? Please take all this into get in into consideration and laugh about it. But there was the serious message about it also. Nowadays, nah, I think K K dramas is better. At least some some has more substance. Mm, interesting, interesting. K drama. K drama. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Lawrence, what's your take, Lawrence? Being censor. Being censor. <laughs> Lawrence, oh, Lawrence, are you going to write something about us? The 92 badge? <laughs> Back here in the Philippines, we love the drama teacher more. <laughs> Lawrence, yeah, the drama teacher. We don't like the drama, but we like the drama teacher. It's <laughs> a guru. Hey, normally when I when when I visit Ariel, we, we talk about uh, K drama. <laughs> Don't include me. Uh, be surprised that I'm watching K drama too. <laughs> no, so but, what is um, I, I guess, Minori, uh huh. Minori? Yeah, Lawrence. Well, I, was, I was gonna say about. Um, I'm not sure about in the Philippines if they. If they show any uh, Japanese series, so I have the only series I know is we like Vol Voltes Five. Yeah, Voltes Five. <laughs> it's a drama. Naruto. <laughs> Voltes Five. You know Voltes Five. Uh, yes, Voltes. Battleship Yamato. <laughs> Mazinger Z. <laughs> Daimos. Dimos, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not a drama. I the, the story is they very dramatic, with especially Dimos, oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. What's the name of the girl in Dimos? The guy, J J Jamie. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, Erica. Erica, yeah, Erica, and then the guy with the Erica. <laughs> hey guys, I just want to know, is, is this something that has brought up by the pandemic that Gal seems to be watching a lot of K-drama? Only Lauren. <laughs> you know that, I mean, men, you know, there's a study that shows done by, a, I forgot, I mean, they, they realize that men tend to deal with uh, their emotions. You know, when they try to work with their emotions, they, they watch 
uh, melodramatic uh, series, especially the um, the one in the U.S. The, those Mexican telenovela, the South American telenovela, even Yukiko Nuts actually aspires to be one. <laughs> don't get me. Don't get me involved. Here, like, you're like, oh, <laughs> oh she's she's <laughs> a TikToker. <laughs> You should watch her TikTok series. She's speaking in Spanish. The K drama that I've been watching during this pandemic is actually recommended by my brother in law. Mm. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. He's the one who asked me to watch what uh, is okay not to be okay. Uh, yeah. The one that, that, that fell from the sky, the girl that fell from the sky. And then there's another one. Uh, an angel? Uh, no, no, no. It was the movie, the. South Korean girl that dropped was in a uh, what you call it? Uh, sky. You who came from sky. Yes, something. And then there was also another one about affair in a married world. I was like, what are you recommending to me? <laughs> crash landing on you. Crash landing. Crash landing. That's right. Crash landing. <laughs> no, I, I told you. I told you. You know, Ariel. Ariel doesn't go to sleep anymore. <laughs> my my daughter just uh <laughs> what, what do you mean your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> so Ariel, your Hui Bin's fan, huh? Good good excuse. Good excuse. <laughs> you know my daughter don't watch K drama. You should she watch says, She doesn't watch. Why? Because she says um, it's too fake. The guys all have done plastic surgery and their characters all are scripted. So if she were to watch, she may get so brainwashed into it, she'll never find a husband because no one can live up to those kind of standards. But she likes I mean, BTS. So I mean, you don't need to believe everything, but but she likes BTS. B. Nope. She doesn't, nothing, uh, I, I think kimchi, she's all right. Certain Korean kimchi. food, she's all right. But no K-drama, no K-pop. Anyway, we should be talking about Japanese, not Korean. Yeah. There's no <laughs> Korean here. <laughs> That's right, fine. Minari, that's, <laughs> things let's go Japanese. Is, things fit is good can be worldwide. It doesn't matter any nationality or whatever. <laughs> Okay. And that, uh, that crash running is one of my <laughs> And Yumiko also loves that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have a taste to enjoy everything which yeah. is extraordinary and uh, international. Doesn't Let's matter. just enjoy. Yeah. During the pandemic. Oh, by, yes. by the way, uh, Nats, Nats uh, did you watch that thing? No, okay. you know, I'm. I really don't follow much of those, but um, I've heard of it. I've heard of it, but I didn't. Uh, I was just reading. Yeah. Or what about, other uh, what about Operation you Love? Do you remember that? What did you um, say? Operation Love. Yeah. It's a Japanese oh, okay. series. Japanese or yeah, yeah, operation. Yeah, yeah. He just made up. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. It's, 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 um, it's real. It's real. Operation Love. <laughs> operation Love. Yeah. Actually, there's another um, Japanese series that I like. It was called Beautiful Life. I don't um. know if anyone watched it. It was about this head. Uh, yeah, Nats, you're, you're nodding your head. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't it in the 90s or like, like at least in Japan, I think. Was it Minori? Like, was it 90s? Like, the. I think it was 80s. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, maybe 80s. So, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I, I really like that. And I've been trying to find it, but I can't. That, that was also a very strong movie, how the girl overcome a lot of stuff. Very strong spirit. 
I think that was one of the first drama featuring uh, a woman, uh, active woman with wheelchair as uh, the main role player of the drama. Yeah, somehow. What was the actor's name? I think he was a very popular Japanese actor too, right? I can't oh, remember his name. Takako Tokiwa, I believe. I think so. I yeah. Remember correctly. Yeah. What about uh, Bloody Monday? Bloody Monday? Is this a I, cinema movie, isn't it? It's like a drama series. A group of berries and a hacker. Lawrence, what channel do you go to? <laughs> NHK too. Is. Maybe you should give us a list for us to, 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 to expand our knowledge of, you know, good movies, good shows, Lawrence. What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I should, you should, you should look for preferences also. I, I do share some. But, you know. Actually, I googled it. I think there is. Yeah. That's a newer one, I guess. Yeah. What's that? Bloody Monday. It looks like there is. Like it's there much... is. See? Even that. Yeah, people are... I've never yeah. watched it, but it looks like that there is that. It's in 2008. Like, I'm not really Yeah, it's like bloody, bloody thing one and bloody thing two. <laughs> What time is that one? I'm not, I'm not it's directed by Lawrence Spinoza. <laughs> <laughs> is it a violent Lawrence movie? Spinoza too. What? Is it violent? Uh, it's about a terrorist and a hacker. That's it. I mean, they're trying to outdo it. So. <laughs> the, the actor was... Uh... Oh, man, I forgot. Hmm. Bloody Monday. <laughs> yeah. And then there's also the the Daichi case file. See? That's him. That's the guy. Mm. Yeah, that is the guy. Not the girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it's not that old. It's only 2008. Yeah, see? Actually, this actor um, died by suicide fairly recently. Okay. Oh, like, really? That's why it's called Bloody Sun. Bloody really bloody, bloody, yeah. The timing. Sorry, I mean, you mean that. It looks like this is based on also manga. Yeah. I, I didn't watch it, but. Oh. Hmm. There is one thing about Japanese actors, right? I find, okay, sorry guys, but they are very feminine looking. I think East Asian, I, I don't know from my perspective. Yeah, that's, East that's my problem too, <laughs> Yeah, I think East Asian men, isn't it? Like Korean, Japanese, I think to a certain degree Chinese. I don't know from my perspective, that's what it looks like, but. Chi Chinese, okay. I well, China mainland yes. is lost to me. Uh, <laughs> I like yes. The the Hong Kong, the younger really? guys, I they, they can't act. act. They are horrid actors. So mm. I don't know. I I just really? find funny. I like guys to look like a like male. <laughs> are you talking to us? Are you? <laughs> I, I, can't help it I have no trouble with you guys. You know, you can have long hair or whatever. You still look very much masculine to me. It's fine. You should. You're a but you're, you're a butch mate. You're a butch mate. <laughs> That's why Ariel, you should cut your hair. <laughs> Not until there's a pandemic. That's my <laughs> It's been one year already. I can't even grow Peter, my hair. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Yeah. Lawrence, are you back in Philippines for good? What? 
Are you back in Philippines for good? No, no, no. I'm here on holiday. It's, it's, a, it's a summer, it's summer holiday. holiday. So next month, school will open again. Start of the school year. And back to work. So when you went back to Philippines, did you have to be quarantined? No, when you go back to Sudan. Well, uh, on paper, it says I have to be on quarantine for 10 days. But normally, you can get out if there's, it's not a strict quarantine. We still go stay home right away from there. Um, when you reach, when, when you came back to Philippines, you had to be quarantined? Yeah, but in the Philippines, I have to be quarantined for 14 days. Uh, Adi, do we have who is going to present next week? No. Uh, sorry, next month, not next week. Uh, okay, uh, not yet. So, uh, it's going to be <laughs> from Philippines. We're done. Why did he ask? Uh, yeah, yeah Lawrence, Lawrence was the first. Yeah. So from Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, Malaysia. 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 Yeah. Malaysia. Malaysia. Me. Malaysia. 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 Brunei. Brunei, no one's here. Yeah. Um, she just uh, left. <laughs> she just left. <laughs> she left. In the neck of time. <laughs> in the neck of time. You put sang. Actually, that uh, Rosan, Rosan, Rosan uh, was quite busy this yeah, yeah, weekend yeah. because there, yes, there yeah. are many VIP uh, guests. Yeah, for. Okay. okay. So um, okay, I think Rosan can do. One is Roseanne. Another one is from Malaysia. Thank. So, what's going to be? What's going Thank to be? Or me. Thank. What's going okay. to be? It's me. I, I will be <laughs> back up. I will be back up. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. be back up. Just in case. Uh, but I will not uh, take the lead because I really do not know how uh, my schedule will be. Uh, because we are expecting school and my office to be back mm -hmm. to open up. So we will have to do a lot of uh, preparations and uh, stuff. Oh, so I, I don't I want to promise and then I don't turn up. So I will I will be back up. But oh, I would say so. Singh because Singh would give us a different Sing. perspective of Malaysia. Let's go Sing. We want Singh. We want sing. 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 Okay. Sing. Are you sing, monitoring are you? us? I will text him. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Okay, B. So, uh, for next, for the next, uh, yeah, sing. <laughs> From Malaysia and also Rosania from Malaysia. Malaysia. Minori, okay. really thanks for today. Yeah, thank, thank you, Minori. Yeah, you, you brought me back to my childhood with Ocean, and <laughs> you have opened up new uh, TV <laughs> programs <laughs> to me. Ida Ten, yeah. Bloody yeah. Monday. <laughs> 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 Operation Love, was it? That's yeah. Lauren. <laughs> that is Lauren. <laughs> I actually grew up yeah, watching yeah, a lot of uh, Filipino shows as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Emran. Hi, Emran. Hi, Emran. Emran, now Just you show the camera. The yeah, what's hey. up? Yeah, Emran. Welcome. First time. First time? Hey. No. no. Okay. He has joined hey. a few times. Hey, good evening. <laughs> Hey, right from <laughs> been listening to you. Uh, in my case, I like action movies as ever. I like cartoons in Japanese. I like the Haikyuu, the volleyball series. <laughs> and the uh, Korean drama. <laughs> I see. Oh. Hello, guys. 
Okay. Poltus, what about Poltus? Come again. Poltus 5. Poltus 5. Poltus 5. Poltus 5. Poltus 5. Oh, yeah. uh, when we were children that time. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe oh, Samurai. Check out what is this Poltus 5 now. <laughs> I don't know anymore what's the latest about Voltage 5 anymore. We now have uh, <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> King Okay. Okay, uh, brother, yes. I, I, I thought you were about to say uh, good, good, good night already to everyone. <laughs> yes, yes, B is going to say that. That's why B? I came up. Yeah. Are you going closing to remarks? Say closing oh, yeah. closing I, remarks? I have, I have to go. Uh, but guys, you all can stay on and chit chat. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, take care. See you all. Mm -hmm. I think that, yeah, we can Let's call it night. close all the session tonight. Yeah. Okay. Thank you again, yeah, Minori. Thank you, thank you Minori. Thank you for everyone who joined. Minori san. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the world after. Yeah. Great Bye. job, Minori. Oh, I yeah, think we forgot you. to take photo tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Never mind. Photo, photo, I will, I will exactly. snapshot. I will snapshot Minori's uh, slides a bit, just to give it a twist and uh, maybe. Uh, there, there's there's a recording. There's yeah. A recording. yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll try to get some it. something out. Okay. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Take okay. care. <laughs> bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you. I will Thank try you. more you you optical illusion. I will okay, try. Good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, B. Thank you, Asa. Thank you, Bang Emran. Thank you, Minori Sang. Thank you, Minori. Thank you, Minori. Bye-bye.